Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you've had a good week and I have done so good. I have done a little bit of vlogging every day this week, even though it has been, <laughs> it's been one of those crazy weeks where John and I both had a couple of days where we couldn't say it was bad days because we usually, we're, we try not to be that way, but it was just one of those days where nothing went right and, or just weird things were happening. And then Wednesday, I think is when I did my video for you guys, and then something funny happened that day to me with my car, but I'm gonna wait and let you just watch that in the vlog. And then um, I think it was the day before I was having one of those days, and I had just told Brooke about it, because I try to, like when I have like a little life lesson or just something that goes on like that, I try to, you know, talk to her about it, and, um, just, you know, just share my experiences with her and let her know how to like not let it get you down. Like I don't say that, but I try to just say, you know, kind of laugh it off. And it was so funny because right after I talked to her about it, we got a package from Tarte. And thank you so much to Tarte. I mean, they have spoiled me so much and I have really enjoyed everything they have sent me. And this week they sent me a package with the tartlet palette which you guys know i have the tartlet palette and it is hands down one of my favorite palettes See, this ever came had. out if i can remember i was trying to remember this morning i think this came out when i was on my no buy and it was like right on my list and then right after i got over that i i think that elizabeth sent this to me in like a congr congratulatory box can you believe that was way back in january I think it was I think it was after Christmas that we did that so anyway since I have this and Brooke shares my stuff she's got more she even wants to share my sink and you know my whole little area but that's normal I remember loving to go down to my mom's dresser and use her brush and everything and I at first I was in the bad habit of laying the brush down just laying it down and I remember her getting after me to turn it over turn it over so that's how I can really remember being down there and using her perfume and stuff but anyway since I have one of these I want to give this to one of you guys that maybe don't have it and so just um you have to be a subscriber and you don't have to leave any kind of, um, you don't have to do anything crazy. You don't have to tweet. You don't have to Facebook. You don't have to Instagram. Just leave me a comment and I will pick one of you guys. And the very next video I do, I will either announce the name or put it down below. So I thought I would share that with you guys. But they also, I said, I went in, Brooke was in her room. I said, look what we got. I said, it's the Tartlet palette. I said, remember that palette we love so much? And she was like, yeah, because we both love like the, and it just, the muted it colors. Just the best, the best. And so I did not even realize there was this Tartlet in bloom. And this will give you a little hint of what occurred. So we opened the box and then I open it. And right when I opened it, I realized it was broken, but I just, you know, this is what I did. I just laughed it off. I said, see, see, this is the kind of day I'm having. Instead of letting it, I don't know, I just think we all need, like, to learn how to cope with those days. And um, I went in there and just tried to knock it off the best I could. I'm glad that none of them really came out um, in the back, I mean, in the trash can. So I knocked it off, and you can see that it's those... Um, dark ones, which are my favorites, that broke, but you know, there's and, still plenty left. Um, I've been using it ever since. And um, Sassy's walking around. I don't know if she wants to go outside or what. After, I don't know if you saw my Instagram, but after seeing that owl out in the front yard, John said, bring all the cats in, and she's our lightest one. I don't know if, if the owl would get her or not, but anyway. So just the colors are gorgeous. If you like the first one, you will love this one. And what I have enjoyed, my go-to eye no, I've started off has with been Smarty Pants, this lighter color tan in the crease, and then going in with Jet Setter, which is pretty dark. You'll think all of a sudden, you know, oh God, that's so dark. But then as you adjust to it, and then what I usually do is I've been taking Flower Child and doing, you know, to blend out the top, and then going in with just a little bit of this smoke show. And it is 
just the coolest color literally the coolest <laughs> dark color i don't even know how they describe it i'm sure they have a much better way but to me it is just like a dark 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 black brown with the slightest hint of rosiness to it it's just perfect and so i haven't even used any of these you know, warmer or rosier brown tones, I will, but I've just been loving this so much that I, I had to do it. I had to show you what I liked the most out of it. So that is like a big star of the week. And um, like I said, I'll give that other one to one of you guys. And then let me go ahead and, oh gosh, see, I did get a little bit on my hand. So let me go wash that, that off. And then the next thing I wanna show you is something else I got this week in the mail. I got two packages from Merle or Merrill Norman, however you say it. And last time they sent me something, one of you guys that lives here in town told me that our Merle Norman, Merrill Norman, has shut down. And I didn't know that, but I, I always walk by there on the way to Forever 21, the food court and stuff. And I usually would just go in there. It's a small store and I would buzz through there and see you know, what new collections they had and everything. And I went by the other day and it was so sad that they were gone because they have been around as long as I can remember, you know, because I've lived here my whole life. So, I, I mean, I can't remember the mall ever, not it not being there. It was in a different place one time. I think it was right outside of Belk. And when I was in my 20s, when I used to waitress, and um, everybody always, even back then, everybody loved my lip combinations. And I got a bunch of girls hooked on the, um, it was Max Factor Sparkling Bordeaux. We all loved the, um, there was one called Plum Wine. And then there was a Merle Norman double-ended lip pencil. It was like one end was darker and it was wild berries. And one side was darker and then one side had a shimmery side. And we all love that too. And then I've also bought a lot of Merle Norman nail polish. So they really sent like. me this, the cutest package of Pop the Bubbly. And it has this little bottle of sparkling wine in it. Is that not the cutest thing? Even John, you know, the kids always ask me about everything I get. You know, they're always, they notice, just like the cats, they notice every new little thing that comes in here. Well, even John noticed this. <laughs> so he might be popping the bubbly tonight. But I told him, I said, no, I gotta show it. But they sent me this revitalizing bubbly mask. And that's why the other day when I did my skincare, I just wanted to do just, just the basics. basic skincare. And um, like I also said, there's always some other stuff that I'm using, but I just don't use it on like a daily basis. And a lot of stuff that I'm trying like that, I love Kate Somerville stuff. That's been awesome. And I love a lot of Colleen stuff. And then I've been using this this week and it's their Revitalizing Bubbly Mask. And it, at first I thought, hmm, you know, I didn't know if it would be good for me because when I think of a bubbly mask, I think of moisture. And, um, but really, even though my skin's combo, I do still like stuff like this because sometimes I feel like I need it, especially in the winter, to kind of even out my skin tone or my skin balance it out because even though it's oily, if it gets stripped, it gets oilier. So sometimes I feel like I need something like this. So I have used this by the sink, I think the first night, I think I put it on before I got in the shower. And then the next night, well, last night, I put it on in the, it in the shower. And so today I was thinking, I, I looked up and there is a video on YouTube demonstrating it and showing it all to you. And I'll link that down below. But what I did, and I did a little clip to show you, is earlier I Just did it on, on my hands. I'm rinse it off. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave it on for, I'm gonna read however long it tells me to leave it on. I think five minutes. So it's 9.08 now, so I'm going to leave this on until 9.13, and then you'll be able to see. So it's um, suggested retail, $30, and um, let's see, Brighten, brightening bubbles recharge the skin and take dull to dazzling with this new multi-sensory formula that transformed from a gel to foam while on the face. Time-released antioxidants soothe condition and improve skin clarity and skin tone, while Vivalume helps restore luminosity and youthful vitality. Skin is recharged with emollients and humectants hydrate and leaves skin soft, smooth, and the mask works to condition, clarify, and even out the skin tone. It's got grapefruit, seed extract, marine soluble collagen, time release, antioxidants, vitamins A, C, and E to smooth. And um, so anyway, bottom line is I put it on my hands and I haven't put any lotion or anything. 
So you can see how luminous it does make your skin. And when I was watching the YouTube video just to kind of learn about it, they were even suggesting it for makeup artists. And I can see because it does leave, it's not a, it's still a smooth surface, but it's just, there's sassy. It's just very, very luminous. So I haven't put any lotion on or anything. And um, so that is the mask on my hands. I really like it. It smells good. It smells like um, grapefruit, like kind of fruity. And um, so thank you, Merle Norman, for that. And then they also sent me their latest it collection. Is beautiful. Let me see. I've got the um, two things I used out here this morning. These are my favorites of the whole collection. I don't know. There's some eyeshadow in there I like too. But these are both um, color stripes. So they're similar to, they're not like um, shimmer bricks. They're more like a blush with a, like a stripe of shimmer, but this one is called Sweet Cheeks, and it is a beautiful, this is what I have on my cheeks today, like for a blush, all I did was put on my Makeup Forever, the one that I use sometimes for a bronzer and contour, and then I put this on, and what I love about it is how, what a dusty type pink it is. It's just that really cool pink, and what I did is just, I took my brush and just kind of swirled all around it and then swirled a little bit more in this stripe over there. So that's what I have on my cheeks and I kind of took it down into my contour so that the contour was kind of a rosy or dusty pink tone. And then this is a little bit lighter and I used this on the tops of my cheeks more as highlight. So you can see this is much lighter. So for those of you with a really light skin tone, you would probably get a lot more color out of this one. And this one's called All A Glow. And so you can see that they are not terribly, terribly shimmery, but they do have that one, that white stripe has just a little bit of, I would just say it's more like luminous. It's not big shimmers. So I love those. And then, um, okay, then they sent me these Brilliant Dimension Shadows. And um, this one is silver lining. I can't remember. I think it was, okay. This one is silver lining. And uh, I don't want to fling it across the room like I do sometimes. And look how pretty that is. And then I'll swatch it. It's soft. You know what I mean? It's like very, very, it almost reminds me of the, what are those shadows by MAC? I can't remember what they are right now, but they're, it's here i'll do a swatch like that and then i'll do a swatch like that so it's not chalky at all look how pretty that is okay and then the next one that i really like is the gold and you can see these cracked up a little bit but that's that happens a lot and so i'll rub it in there so that is the gold and i'll rub it it's not um gold isn't showing up as much on my skin that's what i was going to say it's not as bright and unwearable as you would think it is um it's a tree yes there it goes it shows up good see how it's even got that smooth texture it almost has that wet look i love it i think it is so pretty so i will next time i wear one of these i'll make sure i do a video or an instagram post so you can see it um just beautiful so and then of course they sent me their vampy lips and I feel so bad not wearing this more often because it's so pretty. This one is their lip gloss and it's called Hussy. <laughs> A lot of people may think I need to wear this, but that is, and look, oh, it's that dark. Okay, I will wear this. I like the darker ones. So you can see how that would look with even like a smokier eye. And then this is the more sheer. And this one is called, I love how they put their names on here, nice. Um, this one is called First Kiss. So this one is gonna be more of the sheer, here. I'll, I might as well swatch these two so that um, you can see them. Oh, I'm having trouble with not using all my fingers here, my swatch fingers. Okay, and it has the brush. Oh, that is so pretty. A lot of you would like this color. And then this one is the more I think this one has a doe foot. Yeah, this one is going to be more like a, you know, full on. Okay, so this one, 
The one with the brush, the glossier one, is going to be more of a sheer. That really actually will be really pretty. I can definitely wear that. And then the one beside it is going to be that just velvety, pure lip color. And the one beside it would be called Hussy. <laughs> So thank you also to Meryl Norman for keeping me in mind. I love it all. And um, when I wear these, just look for all my Instagram. I try to post every time I wear, I always post okay, my so lip combos. I just had to wash my hands and I was thinking, I hope I didn't just wash all my luminosity off of my hands. <laughs> but anyway, I took pictures of those swatches too. And I wonder if I, I hope that's enough sunlight. But anyway, okay. Then, you know, I'm still, I think we're always, always on the quest for the perfect, most beautiful foundation. And I never go to a counter without asking them what they think, you know. And so the other day I had gone out, and you'll see in my vlog that I had gone out to Dior to look for something. And um, one of the girls that was over at Lancome, okay, this is a, a two-fold thing here, was there. And I went over looking for new lip liners. When I linked the Bronzel or one of, or Ideal, I saw that there were several more Lancome lip liners that I did not have, and I love these. And so I went and swatched a bunch of them. Some of them she didn't have, like there was a pink one she didn't have. But this is called Golden Nude, and it's what I have on today. And it is so fabulous. You will love it. It's got a little bit of a... Um, I'll swatch it. It's got a little bit of a shimmer, but see how it's, it's just beautiful. The other night I wore it, the night that I got it, I wore it with a pink Burberry lipstick. Looked gorgeous. Today I have it on with the Tom Ford lipstick that Tammy suggested, and this is called um, Guilty Pleasure. And this is that peach one I was telling you about that I love so much. And look at how pretty. I mean, it was like they needed each other. And it has made the perfect peachy, sexy nude lip. And I thought what I would do, I wanted to show you the combination without this first. But what I'm going to do is put just a dab of this Buxom Celeste. And a lot of times what I'll do is just kind of... Touch it like that just to give it a little bit. I love the way this smells, feels, everything. There's nothing like Buxom Celeste. And so, here, let me pull you in closer. So you can see that gave it even more, just a luminous touch. It's just beautiful, beautiful. And I'll leave you up close so I can also, I'm going to take this off. I brought a washcloth out here. But, okay, you can see those liners do not play. Even though, one thing I liked about that too is see how you, it just goes on kind of muted. Goodness, I am going to scrub my luminosity off now. Oh, okay. So you'll just know that's that lip liner. But I also got a sample of this. I asked her what was a good foundation. I said, I've got combination skin. I said, I want to go with a, a golden tone. I had just looked at that beautiful picture of Gwen Stefani's makeup. I'll put it right here. <laughs> and I wanted a light golden tone of makeup and I wanted to kind of recreate those cheekbones and everything. And so we ended up picking out, we went through all the ones that, you know, I was like, no, I don't want matte. She didn't like that compact one. She said that she felt like it was too heavy for the amount of coverage that you got. And anyway, she asked me if I'd ever tried this, which is the Renergy Lift Makeup. And I think it's kind of like their version of Chanel Lift Lumiere. It has like lifting agents in it. And it is a 12 hour lifting anti-wrinkle radiance, normal to dry skin. So anything that has radiance and stuff like that is gonna say probably normal to dry skin. But I've worn it now twice and it is so pretty. And I'm wearing, she gave me a sample so that if I didn't like this, I could bring it back and you know, it would be no big deal, but I love it. And so you can see it's just got the prettiest finish and I do have the, my new favorite thing, which is the um, Dr. Jart Pore no, BB Disapore, that's what it is, Disapore underneath it. And um, I like that other by Terry thing too, but 
this is the more like of a base. The by Terry gives you more luminous. So if you wanted it maybe more luminous, but I just think it's beautiful. And then I have on over it that new Bare Minerals, that um, blemish powder, which I love. And I just think it makes the prettiest finish. I love it. So I'll back up out of your face now. And um, so, so far, just really excited about that. The color is 250 Bisque W. Now there's several different Bisque. So do remember that it's the warm Bisque W. And loving that, loving that lip liner, love it. And I, Vanessa, the bombshell sweet, I thought about you when I wore it the first time and I almost texted her and told her she had to have it, but I wanted to try it one more time. And then today I decided, I think you guys know that, um, or last weekend I went to Mac and um, picked up these lashes and I have picked up many more lashes and I just, we don't have time for me to go through every lash that I have bought. I have bought the, um, here's a whole bag of lashes that I've bought because I've had so, such a good time going back to my lashes. And um, one of them I did want to show you is these. It's like a pack of, oh God, I was gonna say it's, oh, that must be the glue in the back. But it's a pack of three really pretty ones that I think you lash lovers like me out there will love. And this brand, the Eye Lure is buy one, get one half. And that's kind of why I stocked up. But look at how pretty all of those are just gorgeous and then i've got all of my mink lashes too the only thing about the mink lashes is you can't put mascara on them but i've been layering like right now i have on the same two lashes i had on in my last video because they were already cut and perfect and i wanted to do it chanel's right there behind the camera and um so anyway wanted to show you these dangerous beauty and the these are it. number 154, number 141, and number 157. And I went to go see if they sold these separately, and at Ulta they didn't. They sold, I think, one set. So anyway, and I think one of the pairs that I've got on now is one of theirs called Texture. At MAC, I got the two that the girl that was helping me suggested. I told her I wanted not a real natural one, not a real crazy one, and I told her I liked them. Um, to come out and so she said that these are her two favorite and she layers them and good night this little number could be the smallest number ever um, so it's 36 and 35 and um, so these are pretty normal you can see how they kind of go out at the end so I would probably put those on first and then these I love like that clumpiness and you see how those kind of go out in the middle so that'll give you an all over real fluttery look so of course when I wear these okay, I'll let you know. another thing I got this week and Dean told me about this a long time ago Dean Davidson he said that he wanted to have me he's got on his website his stacking rings and he's got several sets that are like little stacks and they're named after different people and he wanted me to create my own stack and so he sent me all of these stacking rings oh they're gorgeous and he wants me to pick out my own stack he sent them to me day before yesterday and i was not here when fedex isn't that the worst when you miss something you see that door tag on the door the good thing was it was the kind that let me sign it and hang it there for the next day. I hate the ones that you know they're going to come the next day and you're scared you might not be there the next day. But um, so I got these yesterday and I was supposed to pick out my stack and show you guys today. And I have not, I looked at them and looked at them and I've put them in all different ways and I have not totally picked out my stack yet. So I thought I would just show these to you and I'll come back like on Sunday and show you what I pick out. But look at all the different, and here's one that I have not, um, these, let's see, I've, gosh, they're just all so pretty, but look at this one. It's really different, I haven't ever seen this one. It's the small, it's smaller than the other ones, and I really like that one. And then this one is like the dark gray, and then there's the um, blue, which I'm partial to because that was the first castle ring I ever got, is the lapis. And then another pave, turquoise, I love. One of my favorite necklaces is his turquoise, um, a pendant that's turquoise. And then the moonstone, and then look at the iridescence on that one. 
but it's just gorgeous gorgeous and then there's um the onyx and then there's one that's um just plain gold that's good to mix with and i love them you can wear these i wear them like single sometimes and then you've seen me wear i've worn like four on one finger and i think he told me to pick out three for a stack so i will show you those later on in the weekend and then the other things i have okay i've got one more thing to show you before i stand up and show you some other stuff leggings and let me go make sure i've got her name right i'm thinking okay yeah, let me just make becky. sure real quick i was going to say becky and last night i wanted to put her name when i posted my camo ones on instagram i wanted to make sure i had her name right and the, the kids were already in bed and i hated to walk over there and you know maybe wake them up but um she texted me and said that her and her daughter love these leggings that then they're better than any high-end leggings she's ever tried. I do like them a lot. They're, um, I wouldn't say, they're just different than like the David Lerner. The David Lerner are, are more stretch. They're just different. They're more like a, a pant and they've got these um, seams down them. But the good thing is they are 17. They're on sale right now for $17. And I am a six and so is she. And she said that she got the medium. And so, I got the medium. I got them in this faded black color. And then I also got them in the camo, which I love. It's like a, the coolest black and gray camo. And then I got my mom some plain black ones, and she wanted these two. And I got my mom the large, but I've told you she's been losing weight like crazy, and so she needed the medium. And then when I wore those yesterday, they were loose. So I really could probably wear the small, but I like them. You guys know I like them that way. And they are high-waisted, and the brand is High Rise, it says, and Mud is the brand. So, of course, I'll put the link down below. They've got, a, like, a faux leather-looking pair, um, gray, brown, maybe, like, a cranberry color. So thank you so much, Becky. I went straight out there and got them right after she In told me In my blog, you guys have already probably watched, I told you I was looking for a long Chanel necklace. And I got one. So this one I bought from Barbara, um, the lady that I, or the girl. I say girl for everybody. She's, I think she's younger than me. Um, I bought this from Barbara at Bergdorf. And um, she has been so patient I think even before or when I asked her about the purses, probably the first time I've ever even asked her about the boy purse, I also sent her a picture of Annabelle Nielsen wearing her Chanel beaded necklace. She wears it so much, and I just loved it. I just love the way it's something, the whole thing, you know, glam and edgy all together. And I've had such a hard time finding one that was just kind of classic and basic. And... Um, there's all kinds that come out that are more trendy that might have double strands or they might even have like different charms on them um, that I love all those too. But the first one I wanted to get or the main one I wanted to get is one that was very classic like this. And I love like the spaced out um, beads and stuff. And so I just got this in the mail yesterday and I love it. It has the best like weight and I just love it so and I think she has a few more left and so I'll put her cell phone number down below and you can just text her and she'll text you right back and she's very 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 patient about um like when you're looking for something she will send you pictures and pictures and never pressures you or never acts upset if you didn't buy what she sent you so she's a great person to work with and I know one of you bought um another purse like a Goryard tote and stuff so she's real good she can help you with multiple things there and I you know I have bought this my Chanel brooch and my Chanel bag from her so love this and I'll put it came so pretty and like the box with the camille and show you this real quick. I figured I might that somebody might be interested but the Chanel necklace comes like this such a awesome presentation you open it up and it is attached in those and it looks so pretty and then it um has all this that folds over it with the Chanel. And then I guess this just kind of absorbs the shock in the shipping. And it has a nice Chanel box, just like the purses. The first thing I'm gonna show you is this. Um, Dara, Belle du Jour, saw that someone tagged me on Minnie Rose, Minnie Rose, New York. 
That is a brand that I have when um, the boutique Tory Bell was here in town, I bought a mini rose sweater and they just have all kinds of beautiful like big ponchos. For those of you that like flowy stuff, you will love mini rose and a lot of their stuff is just really luxe fabric like cashmere, you know, all that kind of stuff like that and um, they have like a big boyfriend sweater that I love. Just lots of big flowy comfortable things and so Dar contacted me and said that she worked with Mini Rose and would I like to try one of their, you know, one of their pieces. And so they sent me, I told her I loved it all. And so they sent me their, one of their best sellers, which is the uh, Mini Rose crop sweater. She said it's this year's hottest item and it is beautiful. Like I said, it's cashmere. I love like the sleeves and I will put, I'm not sure what the size is or if there is a size. It's and so, it is, um, you know, my tummy would be hanging out. So it is like a crop sweater and I've seen a lot of people wear them with like a tank top or, um, you know, you could wear it with a t-shirt under it and I just put a cami underneath it because I wanted something that was kind of flowy to wear with these jeans and I just love it. So thank you, Minnie Rose. Thank you, Dara. Um, this is a basic piece that I will wear forever. You guys know that little cheap black satiny one that I got at Target. I wear that thing just all the time. It's just like a go-to. And then these jeans, let's see, let me back up. These are the, some of my favorite jeans. I've worn these for years. They're the Abaddon Skinny, and they are the, let's see, I can't remember. I told Kelly when I went to Oliver this week that I just wanted a really light pair of gray jeans. I've got a couple pair of the dark gray jeans, but when I look at pictures of like Kate Moss and a lot of the, just when I look at street style or stuff on Pinterest, I see a lot of the really light these gray jeans. These are um, the Pretender size 28, and these are stretchy, stretchy, stretchy. They're so comfortable. And um, so I'm gonna back okay, up so and let you see is. my whole. I just love these jeans so much. They. For those girls with a big butt like me, you know, there are some jeans that don't give and they smush your butt in and then make you look wider. These are the kind of jeans that let your body just kind of mold in it and I love it. They're kind of like leggings or something, but these aren't jeggings. They're still jeans. They're just really, really, really Sorry, soft. the phone just rang and it saved my battery. It's very low. So anyway, love the jeans. Love the sweater, and oh, they're giving me a discount code for the sweater for 20% off. Um, and I will put the details for that down below. And then this, you guys are gonna go nuts over this. This is, this came in last week when I told you guys I'd seen so much stuff at Oliver that I wanted, and I went back and got it because I figured as much as I've been loving my jackets and stuff lately, and I knew Brooke would love this too, but it's by Obey. And it is, it's got this nice, it's kind of heavy and it has like this nice satiny finish and it's even, the satin is even in the pockets. I had Brooke like, I said, feel down in the pockets. But I used to wear, do you guys remember when these long sweaters were real popular when we were in school? Um, I don't know what grade, it seems like it was like middle school, you know, fifth or sixth grade. But the best thing about it is the collar. It is so, oh, for you. Uh, oh so yummy and it has this cool collar or hood back here and it makes like a collar and i love it when you put it on because the way it goes over the shoulder i just think it's so flattering and it's almost a little bit scandal like a little bit um olivia pope yeah she always wears those big jackets like this that have the collar that does like that and i just love it, it has the satin in the pockets and i love good pockets and if you want to wear it with leggings it's just the perfect it's the perfect color, it's the perfect weight, it's just perfect. Um, my that. boots are and some that you have seen before. They are the Via, here comes Chanel, the Via Spiga Feline boots. Here comes my feline. Here comes my feline. Hey! You wanna check this out? You wanna lay on it? Huh? <laughs> and this is kind of good too, because then you can see my makeup here up in the light. This, sometimes I think this light almost makes me squint though, but loving the Lancome makeup, loving that Bare Minerals 
this lip liner, this eyeshadow, these lashes. I just I feel I'm back myself now. <laughs> and um, my earrings are just these great big cubic zirconias from Betsy Johnson. I love these. They have a real pretty setting and I thought they were perfect to go with today's look. And um, this sweater is just so cool. You've got to get it. I, I hope I told you before that there was a discount. And thank you so much, Dara, for hooking me up with that. She is like the the queen of fashion in New York to me. And um, nail polish is one of my favorites. It is the good old Chanel black satin and the Dior gel top coat, which you can see makes it just so pretty and thick. Makes them look almost like gel nails. And um, I was thinking last night, I love that black. That is, and I love that nail polish formula. It has a small brush like the Essie does. So I, really I will do see like you guys it. here on Sunday. I'm edit, almost finished editing my vlog. That'll be up this weekend too. And um, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.